So everyone should have uh, received their August financials. <coughs> yep. And they should be on the website and were sent out to the budget committee also. While I get to the right page here. Okay. So we are at the eighth report of the year and the target is 66.67%. When you review the attached revenue report, you can see the differences in revenue from 17 to 18. The 2018 revenue is less than 17 revenue by $187,537. The items that make up the majority of this shortfall is interest on taxes, building permits, highway subsidy, which was related to the money the town received in seven the additional money that the town received in 2017 totaling 267,543 sludge and the rice sewer agreement some items that are running above the 2017 uh, amount was motor vehicle registration parking tickets transfer station parking lot daily revenue district court fines and the real estate trust the month's total income was $652,801. Of that total, motor vehicles came in at $322,087. Interest on taxes at $10,517. Building permits at $14,791. State water pollution control at $62,859. Departmental income at 65632 Parking lot income at $84,780. And the real estate trust at $57,666. On the expense side of things, you'll find that we are 67.44% spent or over bu budget by $189,821 or 0.77%. In August of 17, we were under budget by $369,425, or 1.5%. Although this may be concerning, I remind everyone that we are on a default budget year. I also think it is important to point out that a lot of annual and semi-annual bills have been paid at this point. Some examples of these are the property liability insurance, the workers' compensation, hydrants, and the majority of the software maintenance and support contracts have all been paid, too. So. Um, I still have hope that we will level everything out and come back to a good place within like the next month or so with summer over now and those bills being paid. General government is at 67.18%. Under general government, the following sections are over target. The town manager, legal, cemetery, municipal insurance, and parking administration. The police department is at 65.69%. The fire department is at 64.96%. Emergency management is at 77%. And other safety services, which is the hydrants, is at 104.62%, but we have made both the payments that are paid annually for hydrants. Public works as a whole is at 68.18%. Something to note here is that um, I have removed the costs related to the temporary force main since that was part of the Warren article that passed. So that has brought them uh, closer in line with what the target is for the month. Mosquito control is at 68.9%. The library is at 71.37%. Patriotic purposes is at 86.2%. Uh, let's see, when you get to the Revenue funds, Fund 24, Recreation, has a balance of $195,782. Fund 25, the Cable Committee, has a balance of $294,169. Fund 26, for Private Detail, has a balance of $167,097. Fund 27, the EMS Fund, has a balance of $393,344. And the wastewater system development charge, the fees collected in 2018, total $34,018, with a balance in the account of $217,413, and board approved, um, well, it's actually, the fees collected to date are $413,445, and the board has uh, expenditures totaling $117,676, which have been approved. And I think that number has changed since last week. I think we rescinded one approval 
and approved a project of um, a lesser cost. So that number will actually come, the balance in the account will come up slightly, but I had already done these reports, so I didn't feel it was appropriate to go back and change it after the action of the board. So that'll be reported in September. So that'll be the 99,737 will be a little bit higher when I come back to you with the September financials. And that is the end of the Yes. Um, on the same page, uh, Christy, the um, wastewater system development charge. Yes. We put that in in, oh my goodness, around 2014, Fred? Or, or right in that area. And the purpose of that was to help compensate the town and the uh, wastewater, with the wastewater problem, <coughs> having buildings um, remodeled and so forth and adding extra bathrooms. So it was, I, I call it the bathroom charge, but whatever. But uh, $413,000 yes. is being, is available for the Public Works Department uh, for what they need to do at the treatment plant. It's a smaller. Uh, that was the total, those are the total fees that have been collected. A lot of that has already been used. The balance right. in the account is uh, 99737 Right. Yeah. But over the past, oh, say, yes. five years, four or five years, uh, we have taken in the 413000 Correct. Which never would have been available to Public Works Correct. had that not gone through. So I'm, uh, I'm very proud of that. And they do use it, as you've seen, oh, yes. and as the board has approved. So oh, yes. It's not like it's just sitting there. It's actually being used for projects for them. Yeah, and I have a couple of questions in the back here. Okay. Um, actually, I guess more for the for the board. With the here we go um, on Christie's recap general fund fiscal year 2018. This is page 18 of 20. I noticed a couple of things in here. The sidewalks uh, warrant article 25,000. Do we know whether any of that is going to be touched this year? Yes, because all of it. It, it will be used. It will okay. Be used. And the other is uh, down toward the bottom, replace town office door, which you have already done, it's the already front door. Care of. And I did ask Fred because I had uh, people saying the new front doors in the town office are very good for accessing the building, but then if people are uh, handicapped or in wheelchairs, <laughs> the inner doors are difficult to open. So I asked Fred if he would consider um, uh, getting a replacement inner door next year, like the outer door, so that it will just open. So I'm hoping that we are able to do that when we're getting together the, uh, the budget and or the sp or special money articles. Thank you very much, Christy. You're welcome. Gina. Thanks for the report, Christy. Um, great job. We're pretty much in line considering we're on a default budget and we had a couple emergencies here or there and things like that, so good job. I had a question on the line item for uh, preliminary design downtown. Yep. I know the board authorized, which I'm in full agreement that we did it, as far as reallocating what hasn't been used back to Experience Hampton. But I've been getting a lot of questions on it, so I was wondering if you could just perhaps explain what we did. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's my understanding that the board was looking at this the same way that I do, that the Warren article was passed for $300,000. Yeah. It was 30000 of it coming from Experience Hampton. Yeah. So that was a 90-10 split. 90% paid through the Warren article, 10% being mm -hmm. money from Experience Hampton. So we had $43,875.60 worth of expenditures from that Warren article. Oh, it does span over the two years, so the accounting piece of it becomes a little challenging, but the simplest way to explain it is that we had the $43,875.60 expended. So my thought, what my understanding was that 90% would come from the Warren article and $4,387.56 would be the 10% proportionate of what right, um, Experience right. Hampton. So, is our intention this week after the board's vote last week to return to Experience Hampton $25,612.44, which would be the difference between the $30,000 and the $4,387.56 would be, that would be their expenditures. Yeah. And when the board authorized any of this <coughs> money to be spent for this warrant article, it was after we did receive the $30,000 from Experience Hampton, which was all part of 
how the warrant article was written. Yeah, if I recollect correctly, the board wouldn't enter into that first contract with Unitel until the 30000 had been received. I know we didn't spend anything, and I think that the contract wasn't even signed until the 30000 was received. So. All right. Perfect. Thank Good. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jim. Christy, this is the second month that we've been lower on revenue, right? On revenue? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have to lie Wasn't it last I month too that you said we were, we were lower? It says the 18 revenue was greater than the 17 revenue last month in July. Okay, all right. So it's the first month that revenue is less? Um, I have to go back a couple. I think there's been a probably at least one other time That's this year, time. but um, when I go back to June and July, they're both the same, greater, greater. And some of it's related to the money we received from the highway subsidy. Like Correct. The, the large portion of it is because, as you can see, last year we got two hundred and sixty-seven thousand five hundred forty-three dollars. Mm -hmm. There was dedicated had to be dedicated to highway projects. Yeah. Um, there was like that additional funds that came from the uh, state, and we're only under one hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred thirty-seven. So. Okay, so it's not something that, that that you consider we should be concerned about at this point. No, because I think all of your areas where your revenue continues to grow are still growing, as I pointed out here. Because I was only going to show where the shortfalls were, but I decided that it was also important to show where the overages were. And they were in the areas that you expect, like the motor vehicles and the parking. You know, parking tickets has even grown a lot this year because they have a larger parking enforcement. Right. Um, yeah. You know, so those areas, uh, transfer station, parking lot daily, those areas continue to grow. So okay. the only one that was down that was a little surprising was the building permits, but mm -hmm. I think it's all just based on the size of the projects, what comes in, when it comes in, and timing. Um, what from 17 to 18. What percentage of our bu budget is revenue is building permits? Oh, very is small. It's like 200 small. and something okay, thousand, so, so that's not, a very small. Yeah, I'm just saying that was the only one that kind of took me by surprise that the building permits were a little bit lower. But then, like I said, it's all about timing. And we had yeah. the Cornerstone and the Spring Hill Suites, which probably got a majority of their per permits in 17, even though a lot of the building is going on now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then one that I noticed that's interesting is that uh, dog licenses are up 155%. <laughs> it's a small number, though. Yeah, I know it's a small number. But she but must have collected more than yeah. uh, normal in, uh, in the town clerk, yes. Yeah, and fish and game registration is way up, right? So yep. Small number, but then again. Right. And then we also have to remember that it's very hard to budget for revenue, and that's why I think it was two years ago now that the auditors suggest that, we, that I update it on a quarterly basis. And then we also do it again um, for September 1st for DRA, the Department of Revenue. And then we do it again at the time of the tax rate setting because they want our revenues to be as close to accurate as they possibly can because that helps yeah. to lower everybody's tax rate, you know. Good. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a great report. Everything seems to be going great. Parking lots are still going to be, we still have a number of shows, don't we? So. Yes, we do. I believe until into November. Yes. Yeah. So and I should. think they plan to be open at the Ashworth lot, correct? We are the Ashworth lot open for every show. We have staff available. Oh. Good. We, see the right, we had a deposit today from sure. the whatever shows were over the weekend. We had uh, <laughs> revenue come in today. So. Very good. Good report. Thank you.